Some say it is a type of sport, others say it is a form of exercise. Many others believe that it transcends beyond the physical. It is yoga and this historical practice, which is said to originate from India and dates back to the first millennium, cuts across all ages, young and old. The United Nations in 2015 set aside June 21 as the International Day of Yoga to promote global health, peace and harmony. And since its inception, it is celebrated every year globally. The Indian High Commission in Abuja on Saturday played host to people from all walks to commemorate the day. I guess the only really strict rule is you should feel good. So you shouldn't feel any pain, you should really enjoy yourself. So it's really about um, stretching, kind of listening to your body. Um, you get stronger, um, but really there's no strict rules. Your, your instructor always helps you through and, um, and you're just supposed to have fun and enjoy it. Every year, Indian High Commission has been observing this day and every year uh, the numbers are growing, uh, the awareness is rising uh, because they're seeing the utility of yoga uh, in, every, in their own lives. Uh, and uh, the message is very simple, the message of health and well-being, uh, and, uh, which is uh, why the United Nations General Assembly has adopted this resolution. Um, and the World Health Organization also, it is going to significantly improve upon uh, the non-communicable diseases because world has worked very hard to prevent communicable diseases. This is one medium which has been found to be uh, very assistive uh, depending on how individuals would like to make it an integral part of their life. Which Obviously practicing yoga requires a lot of discipline and focus so whatever reason you might have to practice keep these in mind. I am Timmy Tokwe Bonli.